I remember always wanting one of these as a kid and I never got one. Just typical chocolate advent calendars. But in recent years, I've been able to get these for myself. And I like to get the Harry Potter ones and the City ones because I think they're just some of the better ones with better minifigures and better mini builds. Perfect little addition to the Winter Village. Some Christmas trees there. You know, that looks pretty cool. And some other little things like the ice sculpture there. So I think these are pretty cool. Oh, and this is my advent calendar for this year. Yeah, that's right. This Peppa Pig chocolate advent calendar is ready for a 23-year-old man. But hey, never too old for an advent calendar, I say. So just like with the Lego Harry Potter advent calendar, the doors are on the back and you just have to cut the tabs and reveal the flap. So I'm going to open up all the doors, starting with number one and ending on number 24. So where is number one? So door number one is over here. And we have a snowman. There we go. The last thing we've got in the Harry Potter advent is the first thing we've got in the Lego City one. So it looks like this snowman might be doing some skiing as he's all ready to go. On to day number two. And we have a signpost pointing to a Santa's sleigh. And there are no stickers in advent calendars, so that is a print. So there's the sign pointing to Santa's sleigh. Next up to day number three in the top corner. And we have a mini reindeer. And this one is brick built. And here is your brick built reindeer. On to day four now. And we have our first minifigure. Looks like an ice hockey player. So there he is all geared up. And he does have a puck as well. Now it's time for day number five. And we have a little gold post and a trophy for him. So that's what the gold looks like. And of course his trophy. Now we're on to day six. And we've got an ice sculpture. So here's the ice sculpture, although I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe some sort of bird, maybe, or a penguin? One week in already, day number seven. And here we have the person making the ice sculpture. So she comes with two different tools ready to get the job done. Now it's time for day number eight. And we have a very small lamppost. I get what they're going for, but this is just too small. It should have been taller. Now let's find day number nine, which is down here. And we have another minifigure. This one looks like a carol singer. So here she is holding a candle. Now day number 10, which is up in this top corner. And we have a small fireplace. Ta-da, there you go. On to day number 11. We have another minifigure. This guy looks like he's some sort of gamer. This guy looks pretty cool. He's got the dark blue medium legs, the headphones around the neck, the game controller, and he comes with a spare set of headphones as well. A bonus. Next up is this little gaming computer. So there's this little computer setup. Behind day 13 we have, of course, is the gaming chair. So there's the chair and it's even got the pedal to raise and lower it. That's a nice detail. So on to day 14 and we've got another minifigure. This time we've got a young girl with a phone and a dog treat. I wonder what's next. So, behind door number 15, is it gonna be a... Uh... Oh, it's a cat on a little cat stand toy play thingy. So, there's that. It's even got a miniature Christmas tree so the cat can enjoy Christmas too. On to day 16 and we're getting close and it's a grandfather clock. I guess the time is ticking until we open the final door. So here's the clock, pretty good if you're nice to me. Too bad about those mould marks on those parts though. There we go, that's better. Now on to day 17 along the same row. And we've got the Christmas tree. Ah, I was wondering when we'd get this. Wow, there's lots of parts to this one. So here's the Christmas tree. Simple, repetitive, but I mean, it's a Christmas tree. Up to day 18 and we've got some presents to go under that tree. So we've got three different presents, this long one, this round one, this square one. On to day 19 and we have a little table with a turkey. So here's the table and there's the turkey. This is it, we're getting very close to the end now so let's open day 20. And we've got some treats for a dog and for Santa. Or oh, Santa's reindeer even. 
So we've got the tray for the dog, some food and water, and then we got the tiny dog. And lastly, here's some cookies and milk for Santa. And behind day 21, we've got Mrs. Claus on a snowboard. There she is. I'm sure she'll be having a good time on the slopes. Dark green colour snowboard is pretty nice. On to door 22, and we have a mini sleigh for Santa. So here's the mini sleigh, room for one. And then two doors left to go. On to 23, and we have, oh, a little trailer for the sleigh. So here's the trailer, and that's what it looks like attached to the sleigh. So we've got one more door left to open, day 24, and I think I can guess what's going to be behind it. So behind 24, of course, it's Santa Claus. And there he is, the man in red. Not too different to previous years, but hey, you know, you can always have a Santa costume contest or something. Yeah, because I'm sure we've all got loads of these by now. So I've just made a quick little layout using the builds and just kind of adding them onto the little display mat that you get with it. You've got some interior details for the houses out here, lots of activity outside. Santa's giving presents. This guy's about to check out his new gaming setup. All pretty nice. And there are a lot of spare parts too. So I'm looking forward to adding these mini builds into my winter village for this year. And don't forget to watch my video where I opened every door of the Lego Harry Potter advent calendar as well. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.